Isa pong magpalang gabi sa lahat ng ating mga kapatid sa Panginoon na nakikinig sa ating virtual prayer worship. Puri ng Panginoon dahil meron po tayong ganitong pagkakataon at sa lahat po ng mga uh, kapatid at mananampalataya na nakikinig po sa gabing ito, nawa, lahat po tayo ay nasa maayos na kalagayan. Tayo po ay healthy, physically, emotionally, and most especially, spiritually. Napakasaya po at napakagaang sa pakiramdam na isipin na bagamat nagkakaroon po tayo ng mga ganitong uh, sitwasyon na nangyayari sa buhay natin, ay meron pa rin po na yung pagkakataon na makapag-aral ng salita ng Diyos. Kamusta po kayo? Sana po lahat po tayo ay nasa maayos na kalagayan. At ngayon po ang gabing ito, tayo po ay magpag, may pagkakataon muli na mag-aral ng kanyang salita at iniimbitahan ko po kayo na uh, buksan ang inyong mga Bible sa 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7. At ang sabi po dito, Casting all your care upon Him, for He cares for you. Tayo po muna ay manalangin. Amin dakilang Diyos na banal, purihin ka, Panginoon, sa lahat ng mga bagay na gusto niyo pong ituro sa amin sa gabing ito. Purihin ka rin, Panginoon, dahil uh, palagi kayong nandyan, hindi niyo kami iniiwan, at palagi niyong binibigyan kami ng inyong uh, salita, pagkaing spiritual na kung saan kami patuloy na lumalago at patuloy na pwedeng maging uh, maalam, Panginoon, sa kung ano po ang buhay na meron po kami. Again, Lord, pagpalaan niyo po ang bawat isa sa amin at nawa ang inyong salita ay maging encouragement ay a great reminder for us na bilang mga mananampalataya ay makita po namin ang kalagahan nito. At muli, dalain ko po ito na may pasasalamat na tayong pangalan ng aming Diyos at tagapagligtas na si Jesus. Amen. I've entitled God's Message this uh, evening, Time to get rid of our worries. And this is my prayer. As believers and followers of the Lord Jesus Christ, let us put our worries into trusting God. And that brings us to the question, what are you worried about today? Are you worried today? O pag natin kanina, ano po ba yung unang pumasok sa ating isipan? Is that part of our worries for the day? If we are like most people, and probably most people na dito po sa survey na nakita ko sa Beneden Health in the UK, according to this survey, the number one concern for most people is their health or their weight. And here are the top 10 worries, counting down from 10 to 1. And according to the survey, yung number 10 is yung kanilang diet. Number 9, yung kanilang job security. Number 8, ang kanilang rent or mortgage payment. Number 7, credit card debt. Naba, totoo rin po yan. Number 6, low energy level. Number 5, overdrafts and loans. Number four, overall fitness. And number three, lack of savings, financial future. Siguro, lagi po nang iniisip ito ng karamihan. Number two, ito na po, growing old. Are we worried? Ilan taon na po ba tayo ngayon? Are we worried with our age and growing old? And number one, sabi po dito, ang pagiging overweight. And here are three observations about that list. Doon sa sampung, uh, ten, oh, sa ten worries with this service. Here are some three observations about this list. This mostly fall into two categories. Health and finances. Look at this. Even the pandemic, and with this survey, people are worrying about their health and about finances. Number two. These are universal human concerns uh, with this observation. And number three, these are issues that will be with us as long as we live. Tingnan niyo po ah, with these ten 
Now, sinagot this, with these surveys, these are universal human concerns and these issues will be with us as long as we live. At meron nga pong isang writer na nagsabi, you need to die in order to stop being concerned about your worries and about your health. And bilang mga tao, have you ever wondered how much time you spend worrying? And with this same survey, and they have a second survey, and they were asked how much time they spend worrying, here's what they found out. Sabi niyo, each week we spend 14.31 hours worrying. That equals to 744 hours of worry each year. Napakalaki na po ng mga oras niyan which turns into 45,243 hours of worry over a lifetime. That equals to 1,885 days in a lifetime spent doing nothing but worrying, which means that we spend 5.2 years of life captured by worry. And according to the survey, sabi po dito, no wonder we have trouble sleeping. No wonder we feel under so much pressure. And no wonder we find it hard to concentrate. With all the hours that we spend, probably worrying. And for most people siguro, sa ibang mga tao, hindi lamang po siguro yung pagiging overweight ang kanilang nagiging worry. But, they are wrapped up with other worries. With the job that they have, with the school, money, work, health, bills to pay, yung iba naman sa kanilang husband, yung iba naman sa kanilang wife, or many more. And if you will be worrying about one or two of all, the, of, all of these things, ano po mangyayari sa atin? Maybe, tayo po ay susuko na with all this worry. At meron din pong isang uh, book na nagsabi that we should not be strangled by worry. And according to the book, sabi na besa ko, to worry is to give way to anxiety. And to worry is to give way or being an ease. Allow one's mind to dwell on difficulty or troubles. At sabi rin po niya dito, which means to strangle or to seize by the truth. Kaya nga po kung tignan nga po yung pinakamiling niya dito, para kang, when we worry, para kang sinasakal sa leeg. And let me give you a simple definition about worry. Worry is excessive concern over the affairs of life. The key, obviously, is the word excessive. Worry happens when you are so concerned about the problems of life that you cannot think of nothing else. It just means it is an all-consuming feeling of uncertainty and fear. Kaya nga po, if we worry, especially dun sa sinasabi natin, excessive uh, concern about the affairs of life, then it is consuming all our feelings and all our time. Then, ang nagiging resulta po niyan is uncertainty and fear. And, the Bible will say, it is a sin. Worry is a sin for two reasons. Two reasons. First, reason is because it displaces God in your life. It displaces God in our life. Not only that it displaces God in our life, but also worry displaces God in our life. When we commit the sin of worry as if we are living that God did not exist, and we are living as though we are alone that can solve our problem, Kaya nga po, when we are having excessive worry and we are sinning with this uh, particular thing of worry, 
parang sinasabi po natin na walang Diyos. Paano na lang po yung relationship natin sa Diyos sa parang baliwala? At isa lang, isa rin pong uh, makikita natin dito na the reason is because it distracts us from the things that really matter in life. As long as we are worrying, we cannot do anything else. At sabi nga pala, you are being strangled by worry. Para ka nang sinasakal ng worry. Then, as type po bilang mga tao at bilang mga mananampalataya, how can we tell when there is a legitimate concerns of life or it becomes a sinful worries? Meron talaga po kasi mga legitimate concerns. Katulad na lang po yung ating mga anak na tayo po yung nag-aalala pag sila ay nasa labas. Tayo yung ating health, tayo po yung nag-aalala. These are just legitimate concerns. But when it is uh, being an excessive, yun na po yung nagiging lifestyle po natin, yun na po na pumupuno sa isip natin, sa puso natin, then it becomes a sin of worry. Here are some three practical guidelines that you are probably well into worry. Number one, When the thing you are concerned about is the first thing you think about in the morning and the last thing you think about in the night. You fall into the scene of worry. Kung sa pagising mo sa umaga, yun ang iniisip mo all through the day, yun pa rin iniisip mo. Bago ka matulog, yun pa rin iniisip mo. Kinabukasan, ganun na naman. Then you fall into the scene of worry. Number two, probable na kayo po ay you fall into the scene of worry. When you find yourself thinking about it during every spare time. Every spare time, ito po pong palaging iniisip natin, yan palaging nasa, nasa isip, nasa puso natin, then you fall into the sin of worry. And number three, when you find yourself, bring it up in every conversation. Although, there are some different types of con- con- conversation, pero palaging, yun na lang po narinig sa iyo, palaging yun na lang narinig sa iyo, palaging yun na sinasabi mo, then, probably, you fall into the sin of worry. And from the passage that we have read, kung ang ating po itong hihimay-himayin at pag-aaralan, and we will look at different version of this same verse, ito po ang kanilang mga different version. Sa King James Version, ito po ang sabi, Casting all your cares upon Him, for He careth for you. In the New King James Version, yung binasa ko po kanina, casting all your care upon Him because for He cares for you. And also in some other translation, sabi po na, throw all your anxieties upon Him because He cares for you. Diyan po sa CJB na translation. And sa Philips na translation, ito naman po ang kanyang pagkakasabi. You can throw the whole weight of your anxieties upon Him for you are His personal concern. Sa MSG na translation, ito naman po ang pagkakasabi niya. Live carefully before God. He is most careful with you. At yung isa pang translation, Since God cares for you, let Him carry all your burdens and your worries. At if we will look at this, versions, God issues the same invitation to all of us. Ano pong sabi dyan? And also, if we, we will look at the different words that are used for the problems of life, yung word na cares, yung word na anxieties, yung word na burdens, yung word na worries, that covers all our life. And no matter which word you choose, God makes the same invitation to all of us. Take our worries, take our cares, take our burdens, take our anxieties, and give it all to our God. And that is really my prayer this evening. As we will tackle this verse, let us put our worries into trusting God. Let's put our worries and give it all to God. And as we uh, magahimay-himayin itong verse nito, let's take a moment and let's see how to respond to God's gracious invitation with this verse. And the first gracious invitation na may kita po na dito is there is a definite action. Yung word na 
cast. This is a familiar biblical theme stated in different ways in different parts of the Bible. In Psalms chapter 55 verse 22, it says, Cast your burdens to the Lord and He will sustain you. Again, cast your burdens to the Lord and He will sustain you. Psalms 56 verse 3, When I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. If we are afraid of the affairs of life, there are some burdens and worries. Sabi yan, let's put our trust in God. Psalms 37 verse 5, Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in Him and He will act. Ang ganda po ng verse na ito, no? As we commit our way to the Lord, as we trust Him, sabi yan, God will act. He will have taken a definite action in regards to the affairs of life that we are having. And sa Matthew chapter 6, verse 25, sabi po that, do not be anxious about your life. In other translation, do not worry about your life what you will eat, what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will, be, you will put on, is not life more than food, and the body more than clothing. And if you will look at these verses, God has done everything necessary for us, for you to trust God. Ginawa niya na po yung mga necessary things for us to trust God. So Matthew chapter 6 verse 34 and sabi po dyan, do not be anxious about tomorrow. Again, do not be anxious about tomorrow for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. In other translations, do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. Again, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Let your requests be made known to God. And lalo na po dun sa, sa pang verse, sa Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. Ano pong sabi doon? For he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. God has done everything necessary for us to trust him. That's why he said, cast all your cares. God can say this, give me all your problems. O sa atin po bilang mga naman ng palataya, sinasabi lang po ng verse nito, what will be our action? Let's cast it all to our God. Kaya nga po, the word cast our cares on the Lord means to throw off with a vigor. To throw off with vigor. It's the picture of a hiker at the end of a long day and hooking his pack and tossing it down. That's what you are to do with our anxieties. By an act of the will, you are to unload our worries, all our worries, on the Lord. Ayun po yung word na cast. Let's throw all our worries to our God. Let's all unload our worries, our concerns, to our God. Kaya po napakaganda po ng verse na sinasabi, let us not worry. And if we are having the sin of worry, let's put it, our worries, into trusting our God. Sabi nga po, nakikita natin, there is a, masasabi natin, there is a fine line between worry and legitimate concern. Pero, Lagi po natin sabi, yung word na ito, if it is already excessive, that's no longer a legitimate concern. But it is a sin of worry. 
Kaya nga po, let's not be strangled. Wag po tayo magpasakal dun sa, sa worry na lagi po natin pumapasok sa ating isipan. But, sabi po, let's cast it all to our God. Let's unload it to our, all our God. Kaya nga ang tanong ko po sa atin ngayon bilang mga mananampalataya, ano po ba yung mga worries na umabagabag po sa atin ngayon? Lalo na po ngayong panahon ng pandemic. I hope na sa araw-araw, sa paggising po natin sa umaga, ay kinak, baga, ina-unload po natin lahat yan sa Panginoon. We are casting it all to Him. Sinasabi natin yan sa Panginoon, katulad po nung sa isang verse na binasa, binasa natin. Let our request, let all our worries be known to God. Kahit po alam niya na po yan, let's still unload it. Let's call, throw, throw it all to God. Let's cast it all to our God. Let's all release our anxiety. Let's throw the full weight of our anxiety to our God. And the second gracious invitation na may kita po natin dito is a de- deliberate release. Ano pong sabi doon? Cast in word na all your cares. Meron po akong nabasa na isang uh, sinulat ng isang pastor. At I would like to read this to you. As we look at this word na all your cares. Sabi po dito, Not long ago, I sat down, took out a piece of paper, and began to write down the things that were troubling me. Within a few minutes, I ended up with a list of 43 items. After I looked at it, I added four more to the, to the list. As I studied the list later, two thoughts occurred to me, sabi po nung writer. First, none of the items are world-shaking in their impact. Many of them are just the normal, ongoing concerns of life. Yet, the things on my list, trivial though they are, have a cumulative effect that weighs heavy on the soul. Second, sabi niya po dito, I have no power to solve or change most of the things on my list, at least not immediately. Some things will take care of themselves. Other things involve God's timing. Still others are ongoing prayer requests that I pray about almost every day, sabi po ng writer. After I made the list, after he made the list, he wrote 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7 at the bottom of the page to remind him that I don't have to solve my own problem. Tingnan niyo po ah, with this article na ito, na sinulat ni isang pastor, sabi niya, as he look at the first Peter chapter 5 verse 7, cast all your care, sabi niya, he is encouraging us, sabi niya, to cast all our cares upon him. We can do the same. Let me encourage you to write your own list. You don't need to let anyone see This list, you can do it right now after the, the message. Take a few minutes to write down your cares, worries, and burden. Do sa papel na yon. At the bottom of the page, let's write First Peter chapter five, verse seven. Since the list is not for public consumption, ikaw lamang ang makakalam. Write down whatever is in your heart. Write down what is there. Kahit gaano pa kadami yan. Kumawat mo yan ng 3 page, 4 page, 5 page. O isang notebook na yung may sulat mo dyan. Then, rip it all. Baka punitin po natin and throw it away. The very act of ripping up the list is part of what it means to cast all our cares on the Lord. There is a delivery release. Ibig sabihin, as we write all our worries, our burdens, our anxieties, we are releasing it all to our God. And as we say, God, this is all my cares. My God, this is all of my burdens. My God, this is all my anxieties. And now I am casting it 
all on your care because I know and I believe you, ha you are the one that can solve all of these worries and anxieties that I am having. Is your worry or your burden is your health? Then write it down. Is your worry or your burden is your, uh, your finances, your work, your job, your health, or anything? You can write it all down. You need to release that and give it all to our God. And the third gracious invitation that we could see here is, is there is a divine destination. Cast all your cares on Him. Kaya nga po sabi, either God carries all our worries or we do carry all our worries. If we do, then we will be divided, distracted, disturbed, confused, frustrated, and burdened. If God carries the load, we may still have troubles and difficulties, but no consuming anxiety, no dominating fear, no undue concern, and no hopeless despair. Kaya nga po, every time na meron po tayong permitting, napakaganda po nung kantang, leave it there. Kung titignan po natin yung song na yan, isa pong napakaganda yan. Tsaka yung isa po pong kanta, Does Jesus Cares? It is answer, Oh yes, He cares. Isa ba, it's not just our burdens that God can carry. God can carry all our anxieties. Kaya nga, that's, ang pinaka-destination niyan ay hindi po sa atin, hindi po sa ibang tao, but ang destination niyan dapat palagi is palaging sa Panginoon. Again, either God carries the worries or we do. Please remember this. He, God, is the one who is before all things. God is the one who is above all things. God is the one who created all things. God is our Savior. God knows us and loves us. God came for us and He died for us and He rose again for us. He intercedes for us and one day He will come again. And please remember this. God will personally carry all our worries and God will God will help us to put all these worries to put all these worries at mawala ito sa ating isipan at masolve lahat ng mga bagay na ito. The invitation of the Lord is intimate and personal. Pwede mong kausapin ng Panginoon. This is a personal thing between you and God. The Lord says, O oh God could say, Would you allow me to carry all your burdens? Will you allow? If God will say, Will you allow me to carry your burdens? Tayo po bilang mga mananampalataya, how can we say no to that? God can. God can carry all our burdens. Pang-apat po na delightful reason or invitation is this. There is a delightful reason. Cast all your cares upon Him to our God. Ano sabi po nung last na verse? Because He cares for you. If you will just ponder on these simple words, four simple words, He cares for you. The truth remains, God cares for you. If we will look at the word cares or worries or anxieties, in the first half is completely different from the word translated cares in the second half. The words aren't related at all. The word in the second half of the verse means something like this. To fix our thoughts upon Him, something that we could ponder upon. Sabi po to, one writer had said this, it means 
much thought is given to you. At napakaganda po yun. Yung word na cares, doon sa first part, tsaka yung word na care dito po sa second, because he cares for you. It just, just means na God has the very, His very thought on us. As we cast all our cares upon Him, His thought is upon us. And I like that. And we should like that. It means God, God has, He has us in His heart. He is always thinking about us. We could say, God has you on His heart. When He said that He cares for us. And that is the great, masabi natin na, one thing that we are assured of when we put all our worries, our anxieties, our burdens, our cares to our God. God will be there to carry all our burdens and to help us to carry it also in our life. And as we close, the question that we, I want us to ponder with this uh, lesson, with this meditation that we have, can God be trusted as we bring or give and load to Him all our burdens? Yes, God can be trusted. If we cast all our worries on Him, we need to settle this issue that worry should not rule in our life. Worry should not rule in our life. And I want to close with this, uh, again, writing of a pastor. Sabi niya po dito, After I preach on this topic, a woman commented to me that she doesn't have any problem casting her burdens on the Lord. Her problem is that she keeps pulling her burdens back. Like a fisherman with a casting rod who throws the line into the water and then reels it back it again. Many of us can identify with that woman. As the old, as the old chorus says, take your burdens to the Lord and leave it there. Again, brothers and sisters in the Lord, we don't need to pull all our worries back to us. As we give it to our God, Sabian, we need to have a heart of faith to our God and allow God to carry all our burdens because He can. He can carry all our burdens. At kung ano man po yung mga bagay na yun, let God deal with it because He loves us, He cares for us. Again, my prayer is this. Let's get rid of our worries and put our worries into trusting our God. Let us pray. Uh, dear God, we thank you again for your word. May you bless this, Lord, in our hearts and our minds. Let our worries hindi po ito'y maging cause para kami ay manghina, para kami ay manlupaypay, but yung ating mga worries, Panginoon, we can unload it to you, we can give it to you, we could uh, throw it to you, Panginoon, because you can carry it, and you will allow us and enable us, Lord, na makayanan itong mga to, because you are there, that you will never leave us nor forsake us. Thank you again, Lord, and we commit you all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, and may God bless you all.